law of conservation of energy. As applied to the simulacrum, it is the generation of endless feedback loops that continue dungeon programming. Law of correspondence. I have one video about this. It is the principal motive force that empowers the reality tunnels and dungeon programming of the simulacrum that the outside world is generated by what is perceived within. That's the law of co correspondence. The law of diminishing returns. A coding protocol of the simulacrum that promotes originality, inventiveness, genius, traits of errants. Without the creation of new reality tunnels, all systems enter the stasis of dungeon programming. Life Sim, you've heard me say this in this presentation. Life Sim is a period of time an intelligence possesses an avatar from its birth to its death. Liquefaction, cataclysmic phenomenon when seismic or sound waves are so powerful physical surfaces are softened, loosened, and objects merge with one another and sink into the ground according to their weight and density. Whole cities have been sunk through liquefaction. You know, a more popular term is mud flood. Lithospheric displacement. A movement of the biosphere both in direction and uplift or subsidence, which goes up or down. Up or down. Total pole shift. And in simulacrum, this is entirely simulated by the shifting of the objects in the stellosphere, giving those in the biosphere the perspective that the land that they're standing on has moved, but it hasn't. The ground shakes and the whole sky shifts, but it makes you believe that you've moved. You haven't gone anywhere. You're living in a Star Trek holodeck, my friends. Everything is simulated.